Welcome back my pal and crew. It's been a while. It's been a really long time. Got a lot of stuff done. Last time you saw the trailer. It's bare bones. A couple 2x3's. Sitting on a wooden deck. Uh, a lot has changed. A lot has happened since then. Um, most importantly we moved. Uh, closer to my work so that's a plus. Um, so basically I've been scavenging the internet looking for free things, cheap things and uh, I came up with a lot of stuff. I got a lot of free plywood. At the end of the video um, I will put a little description on how much I've actually spent and so far I'm well under I'm well under 500 bucks for this entire thing. I'll show you what I got. There's a sneak peek so far of the trailer. Um, things I purchased. I've got some tires for it. Bought some tires. Um, got some mystery boxes. I don't know what's in them quite yet. Basically, I've got some stuff for the trailer. You'll see as you go. I built it. I mocked it up. Um, now I'm just going to do the finishing touches. Make sure that it's good enough to go camping with. I got the frame built. I got plywood. I even got paint. I spent $9 on some paint. It was a mist tint. And I got a $10 rebate. So that's that's the color so far. I got free trim. Uh, you name it. I got a ton of free stuff. I got a ton of cheap stuff. This is a DIY budget. You know, when you spend some time actually digging and looking for free stuff, you'd be surprised at what you can find and what you can make work. Um, with that said, I'm going to start assembling. I'm going to start kind of sanding some stuff down, painting some stuff. So, uh, here we go. What I'm doing is putting on a second coat of paint. Got all the edges sealed. Hi. Sorry. Got all four sides painted. Getting the top painted. Got the doors already all cut out. Um, everything's all cut out, sealed. Just have to put some weather stripping in it now. I've decided that this isn't going to be a watch from beginning to end, step by step, because everyone does things differently. You might not agree with the way I actually did some of this stuff, so I'm just going to leave out all the uh, um, the criticism for why didn't you do it this way? Why did you do it that way? So, doing it my own way, you'll see the over end project, um, what it looks like, and that's why I'm doing the way I'm doing it. But like I said, all the edges are sealed. Um, I use clear silicone. And so it's, it's pretty much watertight. Knock on wood. But it's watertight. And now I'm just applying, a, like I said, a second coat of paint. Got holes filled. And then once I start bolting uprights on, I'll run silicone in there shove the bolt in and go from there well the trailer is now officially sealed painted I've got my black iron hoops and my unistrut already painted and bedlined so now those just need to be bolted on I got the holes built bolted I already got the holes drilled to be bolted through um, I'm just gonna run some uh, silicone through there to keep it wire tight then I just have to trim up my taillights and drill a hole through that so then I can run my wires through, uh, mount my plate, uh, my license plate. That cost me $12.80. So 
So I also got some trim to go around these edges because they're not the prettiest. That's not the prettiest cut. So. Too. Got actually quite a bit of stuff done. Um, besides yesterday, recap of what I did. Um, I painted the box, painted the uprights, painted the hoops. I got everything all squared away, um, refitted. I put it all back together, got the trim pieces on, and got everything all caulk sealed. Everything is all, it should be waterproof. Um, just have to repaint doors but today actually last night what I did last night was I took the platform that I have for uh, the sleeping platform because it's gonna be hinged it's gonna open up kind of like a clam um, I got the bottom one done the main one I attached it to the aluminum rails that are gonna run across here uh, everything's all bolted up I just have to take off some of the uh, excess of the, the thread on the bolts and I just need to assemble it, put it back on there. Now um, I'll do the same thing for the top part. I'll rehinge it and repaint it. We see I got some weather stripping to go in between, so it keeps it kind of watertight. Um, I also got some stuff for the outside of the door frame, um, some weather stripping that should enable or should prevent water from coming in, dirt, dust. Um, then once everything's kind of done. You're going to watch me struggle trying to put that thing on, so enjoy that. But then we'll do a quick little walk around. Um, things that I have left to do be to put the taillights on, trim them to fit, put an additional little piece right here that goes down. There goes the grinder. Um, run a piece down, uh, down here, uh, seal that, and... Uh, put the weather stripping on and then repaint one other tire one of the wheels um, It turned out pretty good. I got a good deal on those through Walmart uh, Anyways, other than that just watch me struggle to put this thing up Lawson Luke, Lawson, come here buddy, come on.
Day two is done. There's a trailer right there. Uh, I'll give you a little sneak peek. <sighs> yeah, platform's working. Just have to put some handles on it. It's hinged, it's kind of heavy, uh, but it'll work. Here's a drawer here. So, that was a free file cabinet. <laughs> Jerry cans, water can, license plate, tail lights, not running yet. Um, on that side, another door. Ooh, another door for some storage. I'm calling it quits tonight. I'm tired. I think I got a lot done today. We're just gonna have a few little things left to do. Like I said, handles for the compartment. Um, put some put some weather stripping inside the doors, and uh, yeah, get a spare tire for it. Find out some way to mount my mount my uh, water canister and my gas can. Um, and I got a name for it. I just need to put the name on it. Um, if you guys have any guesses what you think it might be, put it in the comment section. Uh, I already have an idea. If someone else can come up with a better idea, maybe, hey, maybe I'll just pick that one. Um, anyways, I'm going to end this video. Sorry it's been a while. I appreciate you guys watching my videos, following along. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit, hit the little bell um, so that you know when I put new videos out. I promise it won't be more than a month this time. Something's going on back there. Anyways, I will talk to you guys later. Thank you so much.